हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू विज्ञान एकेडमी फॉर मैथ्स एंड साइंस आई एम श्रद्धा पांडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एनिमल्स एंड द टॉपिक इज एडॉप्टेशन इन एनिमल्स दिस टॉपिक इज टेकन फ्रॉम फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस ऑफ एस चैन पब्लिकेशन टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ आईसीएससी बुक इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर plants and animals live in many different places adapted to the surroundings terrestrial animal aquatic animal amphibious animal arboreal animal aerial animals adaptation to the kind of food eaten and adaptation for protection and also care and concern for animals so let's start with the topic Plants and animals live in many different places. All plants and animals need certain basic things to survive. Plants need water, minerals, sunlight and air. They also need protection from enemies. Whereas animals need food and water, air, warmth, a place to live and protection from enemies. Animals and plants live in many different places in the plains on the mountains in desert in lakes and rivers in oceans and in other places weather soil and other conditions in these different places are different plants and animals are adapted to live in these different condition that is why plants and animals live in these different conditions are different from one another As an example, a tiger cannot live in desert, whereas a camel can. As we can see in this image, this is an image of desert area where we can see camels, not tigers. Why? Because camels have adopted itself to live in desert, where there is a very little food. It has hump on its back where fat is stored. That is why it can stay without food for several days, whereas tiger doesn't have. any such adaptation and it cannot live in desert animals live everywhere on the earth like on the plain land in the forest in the ocean or near the ocean so they live deep inside ocean where it's totally dark and also on high mountains which are always covered with snow animals live in different places are different from each other let us see how they are adapted to their surroundings adaptations to the surroundings animals can be divided into five groups according to where they live terrestrial animals and lives on land aquatic animals lives in water amphibian animals lives on both land and water arboreal animal lives on trees aerial animal spend most time in air like birds now let's discuss in detail about these animals and the first one is terrestrial animals the bodies of terrestrial animals are suited for life on land most of them have legs which help them to run fast to catch their prey or escape from enemies animals like snake has scales which help them to crawl Animals living in cold regions have fur on their bodies to protect them from cold. Animals living in desert have thick skin which protect them from sun. It is also prevent water loss from their bodies. Most land animals have to breathe air. Their senses are well developed. They help them to look for food and escape from enemies. Some land animals such as lizard and snakes cannot bear cold weather. To survive, they eat a lot of food and then go to sleep in caves or holes under the ground during the winter months. This is called hibernation. Now let's talk about aquatic animals. Fish, crabs, turtles and shrimps live in water. They swim with the help of their tails or special legs. Many breathe air dissolved in water through gills. Now let's talk about amphibian animals. Fro 
frogs, toads, turtles, newts, and salamanders live both on land and also in water. They have legs that enable them to move on land and also help them to swim in water. When in water, they breathe through their skin. They also have lungs which help them to breathe when on land. Frog hibernate in cold weather. Now let's talk about arboreal animals. Monkeys, squirrels and garden lizards are some animals that live on land but spend a lot of their time on trees. They have claws, strong arms and legs which help them to climb trees. Monkeys swing from branches to branches and use their tails to balance themselves and grip the branches. As we can see in this image, the monkey is hanging on the branch. Even some other animal like deer and panda spend some time on trees. Now let's talk about aerial animals. Many birds and bats spend most of their time in the air. They have wings to fly. They have light bodies covered with feathers. Their bones are hollow and light. Their bodies are shaped like aeroplanes. All these are adaptations that make it easy for them to fly. Insects such as butterfly, wisp and bees are also aerial animals. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Many birds living in very cold places such as Siberia cannot survive the cold winter there. So they fly thousands of kilometers to warmer place and winter end. This is called migration. Several birds migrate to India in winters. Now let's talk about adaptations to the kind of food eaten by animals. Animals eat plant or other animals. They can be divided into four groups according to the food they eat. And first is herbivores, the animals which eat only plants. Carnivores, the animal who eats other animals. Omnivorous, the animal who can eat anything. They can eat even other animals and even they can eat fruits or vegetables or plants. Next is Parasite. Parasites are the insect which sit on the other animal's body. Now let's talk in detail about these animals that is herbivorous. Animals that eat plants like buffalo, cows, beer and horses are herbivorous or it is also called as herbivorous animal. They have sharp cutting teeth in front and flat grinding teeth at the back. Next is carnivorous animal, animals that eat the flesh or other animals like lions, tigers, foxes, dogs, snakes, eagles and vultures are some carnivorous animals. These animals have long sharp teeth or beaks to tear the flesh. Snakes swallows their prey whole. Some carnivores such as lion or tiger kill and eat other animals. They are very strong and can run very fast. Other carnivores such as jackal eat the flesh of dead animals. Next is omnivores, animals that eat both plants and animals. For example, bears, crows and cockroaches are carnivorous animals. Humans are also carnivorous. As we can see in this image, some vegetables are also there and some meat are also there, which is eaten by us, humans. Since bear and humans eat both plants and animals, they have combination of sharp front teeth, pointed and flat teeth. Next is parasites. Small animals that depend on other living animals for their food are called parasites. For example, mosquitoes which suck blood from human and other animals are parasites. Instead of teeth, they have long sharp pipe. 
they stab animals with this pipe and suck their blood like we drink cold drink with a straw flies leeches and birds are parasites they live on the bodies of animal and suck their blood some parasites such as hookworm roundworm and tapworm live inside the bodies of human and other animals they eat the food after it has been digested by the animals now let's discuss about adaptation for protection animals have adaptations to protect themselves from being eaten by other animals some animals can run or fly very fast a mouse protect itself from a cat by running fast and hiding in small places as we can see in this image mouse is running very fast to escape itself from cat and in this image we can see mouse is hiding at a small place to escape from cat a bird protects itself by flying away a deer can run very fast to escape from a lion or tiger as we can see in this image the ocean has many kinds of fish big fish such as sharks eat the smaller fish a small fish called puffer fish protects itself by puffing up like a balloon as we can see in this image this makes the sharp spines on its body pokes out the shark cannot eat it the color and shape of some animals are such that they merge with the surroundings for example there is a snake on a plant which is having green color only because of which it's become difficult to identify the snake on the plant this is called camouflage camouflage makes an animal hard to see a polar bear lives in very cold places it's white fur matches with the snow this is the image of a polar bear and we can see that its fur is of white color and it's completely matching with the snow the stick insect looks like a twig and is difficult to make out when it is sitting on a plant this is the image of a stick insect and this is sitting on this branch but the color of the insect is completely similar to the branch of a tree that's why it becomes difficult to identify whether it is a part of a branch of a tree or it is a insect zebras tigers and leopards have spots or stripes on their bodies which matches with their surroundings in the forest this make it difficult to see them in the forest the elephant grass found in africa is named so because it is 4.5 meter high and even elephant can hide in it as we can see in this image this is the elephant grass which is having 4.5 meter of height and we can see the elephant can easily hide behind the grass as the grass height is more than the elephant's height some animals can also change their color for example a camelon can change its color to match its surrounding as we can see over here the camelon is changing its color according to the surrounding green color some animals defend themselves with shells and spines for example turtles and snails have shells that protect their soft bodies as we can see in this image where we can see all the parts of a tortoise but this is also a image of a tortoise where the head and legs are uh, taken inside the shell so it is done by the tortoise when it will dance around it other animals such as porcupines have sharp spines so this is the image of a porcupines which is having a sharp spine and with this it protects itself from the other animals now let's talk about care and concern for animals animals are wonderful part of our lives they give us love they bring us a lot of joy and make us laugh we should respect them and be kind to them for that we can also do few things that is never tease or hit animals if you have a pet at home 
make sure that it is regularly cleaned and gets clean food and water. Also see that the place it lives in is kept clean. If there is an animal shelter near your house, visit it regularly to work for the animals and give them company. Now let's have a summary of this video. So in this video, we are going to talk about different types of animals living at different places. Just like the different types of plants are planted at different places. Similarly, different types of animals live on different places. On the base of their living, they are divided into five categories. And the first one is terrestrial animals. The animals live on land. Next is aquatic animals. The animals live in water. And then we are talking about amphibian animals. The animals live on both the places in water and on land. Next is arboreal animal. The animals live on tree. And the last but not the less, that is aerial animal. The animals spend most of the time in air. Now animals are also categorized on the base of what they eat. And they are categorized into four types. First is herbivorous. Herbivorous animals are the animals depending on plant. Carnivorous. Carnivorous animals are the animals depending on other animal. Next is omnivorous. Omnivorous animals are the animals depending on both that is on plants as well as on other animals. And the last is parasite. Parasites are the animals that live on the body of other animals to suck their blood. After this, we have talked about adaptations in animals for protection and for their defense. Then we also talked about to take care of animals and we must concern about them. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and even don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update of my channel.